Yeah. Actually, speaking of Bayonetta. Yeah. Uh, I actually have an idea for a Willem Dafoe movie pitch. It's been a while really? since we had one. Um, yeah. But Bayonetta the movie. I have an idea for Bayonetta the movie. Uh, you do? Yeah, and I know video game movies aren't usually that successful creatively, but yeah. I, I really think I'm onto a winner in a film in which Willem Dafoe plays the titular Bayonetta. Wow. Uh, Willem Dafoe plays Bayonetta, the sassy, gun-wielding, English-accented <laughs> witch wearing a suit of her own hair. Now... This, of course, is done by having Willem Dafoe with a beehive haircut uh, wearing the bodysuit from Harry and the Hendersons <laughs> and a bra. And he walks around with his guns just going, I am Bayonetta! Give me a kiss, Grandad! And then there is um, like an old man, probably pl played by Frank Langella, uh, and they kiss... Just oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm kissing Frank Langella he says at the camera. And then he Who's shoots Frank? he played Skeletor in the Master of the Universe live action film. Oh, okay. And he shoots his two guns in the air while Mexican music plays. It's <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> and he's going, Aniba! Aniba! I'm Bayonetta! Aniba! And then hair grows out of his back and flies up his ass and comes out of his mouth. And he, he screams, I can taste my hair, poo! And then poo <laughs> splashes all up the walls. During that part, I'm picturing the going in for the kill. Doing it for the thrill. You remember that song? That's the beginning of the commercials. That is definitely what plays. And it's, <laughs> it's all in slow motion, and it and it's and instead of saying doing it for the kill, it goes doing it for the hairpo. <laughs> I'll I'll be singing this. I'll be going doing it for the hairy suit. Doing it for the hairy poo. Harry and the Hendersons. Arriba, arriba. And the um, all the poo splashes up the walls. It drips. And there's like just a ton of it. Like the, the the room that he was in was bright white. And after the music finishes, every wall is brown, and poo is dripping from the ceiling and splashes on his face. And he looks up and he's he catches it on his tongue, on the tip of his tongue, just a little drip of poo. And he goes, hey, "It's like snowflakes." <laughs> and then he leaves, and then there is um, Danny DeVito, and he says, oh, I am the devil! I'm the devil! <laughs> and then they start kissing, and oh, no. trading, trading a little bowl of poo that is in Willem Dafoe's mouth, <sighs> and they snowball, and it goes into Danny DeVito's mouth, and then he spits it back into Willem Dafoe's mouth. And then it goes, doing it for the snowball poo, doing it for having a kiss with Danny DeVito, oh. And then he looks at the camera and goes, I'm Bayonetta! And then all this hair flies out of, of his back, right? And it goes in Danny DeVito's ass, right? What? It goes, all the hair from Danny, Willem Dafoe goes up Danny DeVito's ass and it comes out of his mouth and it's covered in poo. And he goes, doing it for Danny DeVito's poo. Doing it for Harry Poo. And then there is poo. And the room that Danny DeVito in was white. And it is brown because of all of the poo. There is so much poo. And Willem Dafoe looks at the camera and says, Now two rooms are brown with poo! <laughs> <laughs> and then he walks is away. He happy or sad when he says that? Or just he, he just, just explaining. He just, <laughs> he just lets the audience know that there was so much poo inside Willem Dafoe and Danny DeVito that when it splashed out of their mouths, it covered all of the walls and ceiling in their brown. And then he looks in the corner and says, There's a bit of blood here in this one. Danny DeVito, you've got blood in your stool. That might be a sign of cancer or hemorrhoids, both of which are very, very serious. I'm Bayonetta. And Danny DeVito goes, Oh, you're Bayonetta. But I might have hemorrhoids or cancer, both of which should be checked out by a doctor. 
So, Bayonetta and Danny DeVito uh, go to the Doctor, who is played by Brendan Fraser. And oh. it sort of cuts uh, in, like, time-lapse. And it shows them in slow motion actually holding hands, um, skipping to the Doctor down a yellow brick road. And it says, doing it for the Doctor! <laughs> doing it to see if it's hemorrhoids! Doing it, it might be cancer, which is serious! He's Bayonetta. And then they go to the doctor and um, Brendan Fraser says, Well, I've got your results here, Danny DeVito. And it turns out you've got hemorrhoids. And, Scottish and loud? Uh, as, as Brendan Fraser always is. And uh, Danny DeVito looks at the camera and puts his like slaps his cheeks with both hands and goes, Uh-oh, hemorrhoids. And Willem Dafoe winks and says, Well, maybe you shouldn't have fucked your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and Danny DeVito says, I guess you're right. And I could do with eating more roughage. <laughs> and then the uh, music goes, Doing it for roughage. <laughs> Danny DeVito's got hemorrhoids. And then um, Danny DeVito and Willem Dafoe and uh, Brendan Fraser all hold hands and they skip down the yellow brick road and they meet Deborah Messing. Oh, she's beautiful. She's, oh, she's gorgeous and such a talent. Mm. <laughs> and Deborah Messing says, um, put them up, put up your tubes. <laughs> I need courage, I tell you. I need courage. And then Willem Dafoe says, well, we've just decided that we're going to meet the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> So you might as well come with us. And then they all hold hands and skip and says, We're doing it for the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. And they go to the Emerald City. And mm. fucking hell. And they go into the Emerald City and there is a big head, right? Which, as everyone knows... Which we don't, which is why I'm making this sentence drag out as long as I can until I can think of another celebrity. It is... Willem Dafoe. No! <laughs> so Willem Dafoe's big head says, I'm the Wizard of Oz! You gotta kill the Wicked Witch of the West! No! Oh. You gotta kill the Wicked Witch of the West! Before I will give you... Bayonetta, um, a mop, a mop to clean the poo off of your white room. And Danny Tovino, I will cure your hemorrhoids. And Deborah Messing, I will give you courage. Aww. And Brendan Fraser, I will give you... Uh, 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 so... I really imagined him doing it. Yeah, that's what he that's does. That's what script, yeah. That's what they did. They all hold hands and they skip um, towards the Wicked Witch of the West. And they go, we're doing it for the Wicked Witch of the West. So that Brendan Fraser can get his... <laughs> so... They find the Wicked Witch of the West, who, of course, is played by Hugo Weaving. Oh, he's scary. He is a scary man, and he's got a big pointy nose, and he goes... <laughs> and he throws a rock at Brendan Fraser's face. That's not how Hugo Weaving talks. And a rock, he's a witch. He can do all sorts of magic. <laughs> Brendan Fraser says, Oh my god! She's thrown a witch's rock at us! And it hits him in the head and his head explodes. And his head explodes. And a thousand worms crawl out of the neck instead of blood. And they slither away and they've all got uh, Brendan Fraser's voice just going, We're worms now! We are now worms! And, and the t Willem Dafoe says, Quick, quick, we've got to save Brendan Fraser! Everybody grab a handful of worms and keep them up your ass! <laughs> oh no! So Deborah Messing and Brendan Fraser and Danny DeVito grab handfuls of worms each and stuff them all up their asses. And they're doing it for your worm ass! And there's a big 
tense emotional moment where, where Danny DeVito shoves them up and goes, Ah! My hemorrhoids! Ah! Oh, it's a plot twist. Ah! Yeah. And Hugo Weaving laughs. And... and Willem Dafoe says to the camera, My God! Hugo Weaving of the West is right! Danny DeVito's hemorrhoids have become infected with worms, and now he also is dead. So he dies and withers away and dies. Aww. And oh, he's sad. Yeah. And uh, Deborah Messing turns inside out and it is Cill Cillian Murphy, and he said, "I'm Cillian Murphy. <laughs> I'm Cillian Murphy," and he explodes. <laughs> Whoa. And then um, Willem Dafoe eats a cheesecake. <laughs> He's, he is being that after all. He's totally on Yeah, he pulls, he pulls a cheesecake out from under his armpit and says, Well, when in Rome, eat cheesecake! <laughs> and he and, um, and, and Hugo Weaving says, Don't forget to break me off a slice! <laughs> and, and Willem Dafoe says, Sure thing, pal! And they each share the cheesecake. While he goes, well, they're both witches. I they're both that. witches, and and, yeah. and then Willem Dafoe looks at the camera and says, "This is what I wanted to happen all along because I am a witch, and it's not just because someone just pointed it out." <laughs> and this, the camera zooms right up close for this dramatic M. Shyamalan nightman plot twist, and it zooms up to his mouth, and he like in slow motion, his mouth like pulls apart, and you just see like off-white cheesecake mixed up saliva just kind of <laughs> dribble out of his mouth and just little bridges sticking between his lower and top like upper lip and they just sort of open and split and he just goes, rah, ha, 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 and she's like flecks of, of crumbled cheesecake and graham cracker and bits just sort of fly out of his mouth and bits of it hit the camera and he goes, ha, ha, And then the credits roll. And he goes, doing it for the cheesecake. <laughs> Yoko Weaving's eating cheesecake. Bayonetta. 